it's worth pointing out that the PBOC is not defending the currency against the uh, uh, US dollar. Mm -hmm. And actually has been defending the, the trade weighted basket uh, since uh, the last three, four months. So that, that very strong dollar recently, actually, <coughs> this is the main reason why the dollar, uh, CNY depreciate against the US dollar. So together with other, uh, other currencies. Uh, it's probably not a good idea to change the regime at this stage, so either repack to the US dollar or free floating, uh, trying to find a new fair value. Mm -hmm. So I think that uh, probably at, at this stage, PBOC will continue to stick to the current regime. Mm -hmm. That means that if dollar continue to be on the strong side, mm -hmm. CNY will continue to depreciate. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we notice that PBOC also strengthen the regulation on capital outflow control. So for a long time, China was the number one in terms of foreign reserves, yeah. uh, foreign exchange. That title now has gone to Japan. Is this a trend uh, that China has uh, basically is going to be continuing to decline? Is that trend going to continue? Yeah, well, in, in this new regime, it's not surprising the FS reserve is declining because we see a lot of domestic investors, both corporate and the individuals, they are reallocating their assets to, to abroad. So to some extent, it's actually the net foreign assets is uh, moving from the government side to the, uh, the non-government side. So that's not uh, a bad signal. But of course, that uh, the, the, the FS Reserve has declined by almost one trillion US dollars since uh, from the peak. And uh, if you break the three trillion threshold, which is very likely to happen very soon, uh, the market investor will be getting nervous. And particularly when the, the dollar continues to be on the strong side, uh, the, the pressure for capital outflow that will continue to exist.